underlying home demand remains strong despite average 30-year mortgage rates near 8% and record home prices pending existing home sales eked out a small increase and first-time home buyers were still around one-third of existing home purchases. The same housing issues are holding back sales, inventory, and rates. Happy Halloween! I welcome you to tune into this creepy edition of my mortgage and housing update. The U.S. economy grew faster than expected in the third quarter. GDP rose 4.9% on an annualized basis. That's the fastest rate of growth since the fourth quarter of 2021, and more than double the 2.1% increase posted in the previous quarter. Consumer spending, private investment, and government spending drove the better-than-expected performance. This near 5% growth does not seem sustainable, but at this point, a recession looks less likely. The Pending Home Sales Index, a forward-looking indicator of home sales based on contract signings, rose 1.1% in September. The Northeast, Midwest, and South post monthly gains while the West experienced a loss. In all four U.S. regions, year-over-year -year transactions declined 11%. Pending contracts remain at historical lows due to the highest mortgage rates in over 20 years. First-time home buyers are resilient. Despite home price records, mortgage rates approaching 8%, and competition against all cash offers, first-time buyers are not being forced out of the market. According to the Realtors Confidence Index for September, first-time buyers still represented 27% of total purchases. Look at this chart. It's amazing how little the share of monthly sales going to first-time home buyers has changed over time. As the graph shows, the percent has ranged from 26 to 49%, the median at 31%. It basically doesn't matter what home prices or mortgage rates are doing. First-timers are consistently one-third of all transactions. Why are first-time homebuyers so resilient? While first-time homebuyers should be the most price and rate sensitive, they're also the most motivated by life events, like marriage and starting families. Even in an unaffordable and unavailable market like this, they're willing to bite the bullet. Last week, the 30-year mortgage rates pushed above 8%. While inflation continues to trend down, the U.S. economy and the jobs market keep surprising to the upside. The Fed is expected to keep rates steady on November 1. The market is currently pricing a 96% chance of no rate hike, but it's still putting a 24% probability of a hike at the December 13th FOMC meeting. A lot depends on the inflation and jobs data that we will get over the next week we're definitely getting close to the end of this tightening cycle. As Halloween approaches, home buyers are facing mortgage rates at a more than two decade high and record home prices. But don't be scared off. If you're dreaming of a new home, I can help you find and finance a beautiful one. Remember, the spooky season is also the beginning of the fall winter slowdown, when home sellers are often more willing to negotiate on listings that didn't sell during the summer. Thank you for tuning in to my mortgage and housing update. My name is Pauline Lee. I am an independent real estate professional. I will be happy to connect with you to talk about your specific scenario. Find me through the links in my bio or comments. I encourage you to get pre-approved.